you're a Paris Dakar expert, you've probably never even heard of the British built Bowler EXRS. But this is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it can do to a catering around Millbrook's notoriously nagy outer handling circuit. In the horsepower stakes, the 140 bhp 7 does look a bit weedy beside the 550 bhp 170 mile an hour Bowler EXRS. But come on, we all know that the Caterham is uncatchable on a circuit like this. Its middle name is Handling, and the fact that it weighs less than a third of the mighty Bowler should surely make it a walkover for the little fella. Shouldn't it? This has to be one of the maddest cars in the universe at the moment. It's got 550 horsepower and it weighs 1750 kilograms and it sort of looks a little bit like a Range Rover except it looks miles better than a Range Rover. It does however cost 155,000 quid so this is a serious rich man's toy. Can it stay with a Caterham 7 around the outer handling circuit at Millbrook? I don't know but we'll try and find out to the noise it makes. <laughs> oh my goodness me. It is so much faster down the straights. It just eats the Caterham in a straight line. Across the grass. with the bloody Caterham. <laughs> We've done two laps now and I'm still absolutely nailed to his back bumper. That is incredible. This... Oh. Third and into fourth. A couple of quick direction changes. Breaking down into the fourth gear right. I've got a little bit of slip on, and that bowler is still large in my mirrors. Quick direction change here, which hopefully might eke out a gap. No, not a lot. It could take a lot more road than I can, as it turns out. Right out of this last corner, I'm still in fourth, and there is a very big. <laughs> in my mirrors, that is terrifying. Right, I've just got him slightly under braking. And then a bit of slip here. I pull that little gap, third gear corner. And there you go, there's a gap, finally, finally. Ah. I think he's filling it again. Bloody hell. I'll tell you what, that thing is apocalyptically fast. It is extraordinary. He could just take... He just monsters the edge of the curb. Dips it in the grass and away he goes. Ah, I think it carries just as much corner speed, but this is the terrifying bit. On the straight, he just pulls right up behind it. Desperate late on the brakes. Too late, too late. And then in that third gear bit, as long as I'm in third, I'm sort of OK. I can... Yes, there we go. He's all over the grass behind me trying to get back in it. Oh, that's too late. Right, let's try third out of here as well. Now, finally, something approaching a gap.
Ah, but as, as soon as I'm out, he's here again. Unbelievable. He just fills that gap every single time. <laughs> oh man, got to earn more money, got to earn more money, got to get one of these. This thing is fantastic. I absolutely love it to pieces. You can fit wheels with it. It is so quick in a straight line. It just monsters the cater when we get onto this straight. It's incredible under brakes as well, considering how much it weighs. I mean, I'm having to try pretty hard, I have to admit, but look, this is a Range Rover that's staying with a caterham around a handling circuit. Nah, this is crackers. This is awesome. This is the best car I've driven in a very long time. Is it really? My word. That is some fun. This is some toy. Okay, so if we break it down to see what's happening on each segment of the lap, there are two key differences between them. In the corners, the Caterham, unsurprisingly, carries a touch more speed on the way in and under brakes. But mid-corner and at the exit, the bowler is at least as quick. And down the straights, it just kills the seven which I suppose you'd expect considering how much more power and torque it has and how wide its tyres are. But even so, you still just don't expect such a huge monster of a machine to be able to live with a little 7 on a circuit like this. So is the Bowler really and truly as quick, or perhaps quicker than the 7? find out, I did a timed lap in both. After a few dramas involving the grass and a fair bit of gravel as well on occasions, the best time I could wrestle out of the bowler was 43.1 seconds. So then I jumped into the catering and in the end, yep, I did a lap of 42 seconds dead. Which is a teeny bit quicker than the Bowler's time, yes, but not by much. Not when it's as small as it is. Mad car, the Bowler EXRS. If you were rich enough, you'd just have to have one in your collection.